Are you sick of hoses laying on the ground? Surrounded by weeds that you can't even see and you don't even know where it is? Well then you need this giraffe hose reel. That's right, the Giraffe Tools retractable hose reel keeps your hose reeled. That was my cheesy intro. So what we're looking at now, three and a half inch mounting holes. That means it probably is not a good idea to put this on a four by four post because at three and a half inches wide, those holes are gonna be at the far extreme. So we're mounting this on a brick background. We're using levels, screws or lag bolts, whatever you wanna call those, and then some wall anchors that were provided. We have a drill with a hammer drill function. We're also going to attach the handle to that. That'll also make drilling into this masonry easier. We need a rubber mallet, a carbide tipped bit that'll cut through this stuff, our PPE and our instruction manual, which conveniently contains a template. So the template here, I wanted to space it so there was a screw on four separate bricks. Unfortunately, the way that my brick is spaced, if we take a little closer look, I can only make it fit across three bricks. So you see uh, the two holes at the top, that's two brick, and then the two holes at the bottom are on one brick. You also want to be mindful that you are going to have some potential interference if you put this too close. So you want to make sure that you don't put it too close so that when you're pushing it to the left, your hose reel smashes into your hose bib. Now, of course, that depends on how high or how low you put it on the wall. I'm putting mine up pretty tall because it makes for a really easy hand washing station. We're going to use that level to make sure that our template is level. And then I'm just going to make a couple of uh, indents, not drill all the way through, but just some indents where that template tells me to go. And then that'll give me a starting point and it'll also let me uh, drill without the template go ahead and kind of eye everything up like I'm doing here. And I'm just looking through the uh, mounting brackets and making sure the holes are there. And one quick note before we get into this next part, if I only would have used a half inch drill bit instead of a 3 8 I'm pretty sure most of these issues would have been avoided, but I am always just as willing to laugh at myself as the next person is willing to laugh at me. So I'm gonna leave this whole little disaster of a segment in so you can learn from my stupidity. Now at this point, we just go ahead and drill everything out. Uh, this is why you want a hammer drill. They are a little bit better at drilling through masonry or brick or stone than a regular drill. You can use a regular drill. It's just gonna take a lot longer. The other thing you wanna make sure, I, I don't know if I would suggest using a bigger size, but you definitely wanna ream the holes out a little bit with your drill bit. You can see these uh, wall anchors, they are not going in. So even though the hole is the right size for them, there is some kind of mortar in the back that's getting them hung up. So I go ahead and ream the bottom holes out a little bit wider, and you can see that that, that did the trick. Those bottom ones go in. So true to my style of doing things, I pull them out. I go ahead and ream the hole. I try again. Nope, still not there. I go ahead and pull them out. <laughs> I try and ream the hole a little bit bigger. You did see I get I got the left hand one in. And uh, did, do I get it this time? Let's see. Nope, gotta pull it out again. Where does this fourth time's the charm? Let's one more time. There we go, finally we go ahead and get it in. So of course that's got nothing to do with giraffe tools. That's, yeah, this sums up my mood pretty well at this point. <laughs> that was like 30 minutes of work. It took more time for me to drill the dumb holes than to do anything else. The other uh, issue that I ran into, and this is going to depend on what tools you use, but the drill actually would get stuck because of the profile of the, uh, of the hose reel. So what I did was I got it started with the drill, which was a little bit easier, and it gets stuck again here, you see. So then I just switched to uh, a little hand tool. If I had a six inch extension, well I do, but if I would have used it, that would have been a little bit better too, a little bit easier because even the head of the socket was interfering with that. So just keep that in mind. You might also need a socket set as well. So this is what it looks like. Any distortion that makes it look like it's not level is probably the GoPro. You can see how swinging to the left, there could be that interference with your hose bib. 
We'll go ahead and attach the lead hose that is included. So obviously one end is gonna go on your hose bib and then the other end is going to attach to the reel itself. That's how the reel gets fed its water, right? I do always use uh, channel lock pliers just to, to clamp down a little bit tighter than hand tight. And then you'll go ahead and install the included spray nozzle. I mean, it's a spray nozzle, so you know how these things work. They've got a bunch of different modes and methods. The, the retracting is pretty strong if you're not ready for it. You can see how there's some interference on the left-hand side. That would be an advantage of mounting it to a post, as you wouldn't have that. But if you're mounting it to your house, you really can't avoid it. So just keep that in mind. This is what it looks like from far away. One other thing to note, this stopper can be adjusted, so if you don't like the two feet of hose hanging out, just unscrew it and slide it down, and you can have a lot less hanging out, which is something I did after the install. Here's where the hose, you could crimp it or something like that, but as long as you're mindful of it, it's not an issue. Again, you know how spray hoses work. They have different settings. You just twist. <laughs> Nothing special there. But what is special that will demonstrate is the reeling and unreeling of this hose which makes for storage and use of it a lot easier. Once you get to a certain point there is this notice, hey don't pull anymore. You go ahead and turn it, the water off when you want to retract it and then you'll open up your spray nozzle. This helps the existing water in the hose assist in the reeling process and you can see this thing goes fast man it it screams <laughs> you know if you didn't help control it i think it would just shake itself off the wall because of how strong it is and i'm going to do one more test so you can kind of see the full length how quickly <laughs> that thing was fast All right, I'm legitimately scared. <laughs> you can see it bouncing. It's so strong, the, the recoil. And see, so even then I'm slowing it down a little bit. So just a couple of seconds, you know. <laughs> so watching that back in the editor, I realized it's not really very safe. And I don't want to send you to the hospital <laughs> because you thought it was okay. Because Brad said I could retract the hose that way. So let me show you the right way to retract the hose calm easy slow much better and no potential legal liability for me right that's what we want so we've got our hose on the ground you can see all the way over there remember nice calm and slow we're going to give it a gentle tug and then we just walk it back slow and steady thinking about how nice it is to have an automatically retracting reel that we don't have to pick up no rush no danger, no reason to name Brad in a subpoena or any kind of legal proceedings when you snap your neck because you did what I did a few seconds ago. So that's the giraffe hose reel. If you've got any questions, let me know. There's going to be a link in the description where you can check it out. It seems like a solid product. If anything goes wrong with it, I'll certainly update you. But for now, it looks like a really neat way to get the clutter off of the ground and cut down the work when it comes to hose management. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.